Remember when David Hogg, the left-wing activist, said that he was going to found a company called Good Pillow that would put Mike Lindell's My Pillow out of business? Well, it looks like uh, Good Pillow has turned out to be not so good. Um, and I suppose we should have seen it coming. Um, now, David Hogg is a sort of, well, I guess he's a survivor of the Parkland uh, shooting. Now, I put that word in sort of quote marks because he's a survivor in the same sense that I am a survivor. Neither of us was there. He wasn't at the school at the time, but he's really capitalized on this survivor business to sort of create a name for himself. And with great fanfare, he announced, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see to it. Mike Lindell is this right winger and he's got this company. My, I'm going to make a better pillow. Uh, I'm going to make sure this guy's run out of business. And, and look at the mentality here. This is like cancel culture at its worst. Not only is Mike Lindell a bad guy, I don't agree with him, but because he makes a pillow, I've got to run him out of the pillow business. This is the this is how the left thinks. And of course, all kinds of media jumped on this. You know, here's a, this is from about a month ago, Washington Post. Uh, Parkland survivor David Hogg launches his own company, NBC News. Uh, David Hogg launching pillow company to, quote, put my pillow out of business. Uh, another news report, um, David Hogg says he's going to take on Mike Lindell. Uh, here's a short uh, media clip uh, talking about how um, uh, David Hogg is going to, quote, engage in a pillow fight with Mike Lindell. Listen. Parkland school shooting survivor and March for Our Lives co-founder David Hogg says he's starting his own pillow company. He's calling it a pillow fight against Mike Lindell, the founder of My Pillow, who gained notoriety for his support of President Donald Trump. So it's um, it's kind of time to check in with David Hogg to see how it's uh, how it's going. Now, first of all, when he first uh, did this, um, you know, one of the uh, Parkland survivors. This was a real survivor. This was a this is a um, kid named Cameron Caskey. Um, he um, said, um, wow, he goes, this is what that whole Parkland thing has turned out to be about a money making racket. I'm quoting him now. I spent so much time promising people this wasn't going to turn into a cash grab. He goes, I'm now putting on my clown makeup with the shame that I deserve. To those of you who marched, donated, lobbied and, and called for change, I'm sorry, this is what it's turned into. It's embarrassing. So he's referring to David Hogg trying to sort of a rake it in. But I don't think that this kid needs to worry about David Hogg is not going to rake in anything. You know why? Because he doesn't know how to make a pillow. Let's follow the track of his so-called company. First of all, you can see with all this publicity, he gets incredible marketing, A+. plus. But of course, people are going to ask, well, where's the pillow? And David Hogg is like, well, I, I don't have a pillow, but I, I have an idea for a pillow. It's like, well, yeah, but you can't sleep on an idea. I kind of like Mike pillow. Mike Lindell at least made a pillow. Where's your pillow? And David Hogg is like, well, I don't have a pillow, and I don't think he's ever going to. Um, he put out a um, request. This is a, all again several weeks ago, offering two hundred bucks to the public to find somebody to des design his logo. So evidently, the guy doesn't even have a logo. He doesn't know how to design a logo. He's offering 200. You can get an idea of the value of his company. I'll pay 200 bucks to design a logo for a company to take on my pillow. Now, um, Newsweek decided to go check the patent office to see uh, if a good pillow, this new company, has been registered. And Newsweek said, we can't find it. We, there's no record of such a company even existing. Well, the funny thing is that shortly after the news broke about this good pillow company, another guy, this is a guy unrelated to David Hogg named Robert Holland of North Carolina. He decided, eh, everyone's talking about this good pillow uh, idea. You know what? I'll go get the patent. I'll go get the copyright. So this dude, probably a drugster, unrelated to Hogg, decided I'll take over the name and he owns it now. It's, it's his pillow. So the bottom line of it is, and you see here how leftists are, they, they think it's so easy to start a company. Oh, you know what, I'll just tweet out about it and the company will mushroom into existence. No, it's hard to start a company. And Mike Lindell has done something amazing in building this massive, successful company. Uh, David Hogg wants to run him out of business, but it doesn't look like David Hogg is going to be even anytime soon getting in business at all.